Right now, it is important to create physical boundaries with others. But how can we do that and still make a powerful introduction in every encounter moving forward? In light of the COVID-19 crisis, things have changed, including some of the etiquette procedures we were used to. Therefore, Kate wanted to know what some alternatives are for shaking hands. Who are new to my channel? Hi, my name is Sylvie Trusto, and I'm so glad you are here. My goal as a keynote speaker and author is to provide the resources necessary for professionals just like yourself to thrive in every aspect of your career. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications to continue learning alongside other experienced professionals and to connect wherever you would like to follow along. So, Back to Kate's question. And right away, to be very clear, the handshake is not and has never been a universal greeting. Among other cultures and religions, there are other acknowledgement norms that are dependent, for example, on gender, age, or background. Many have a different stance on the handshake, and there is no one-size-fits-all formula. So, regardless of any health concerns, and in order to avoid awkward handshake attempts, be sure to do your research first and take the lead in how the greeting takes place. However, on top of cultural differences, the COVID-19 crisis added new and in particular health concerns to the traditional handshake. And keep in mind, those could be yours or others. In light of COVID-19, things have changed. You might not be ready to shake hands, or even if you are, others might not. What hasn't changed is that you should never, never make yourself or others feel uncomfortable. With that goal in mind, here is a three-step process and an alternative to achieve this. First, say hello. Yeah, just say hello. A simple verbal acknowledgement and greeting. If you want to impress even further, find out where the person you are greeting is from and greet them in the way you would in the language they speak. With a simple Guten Tag, Bonsoir, Ciao or Ni Hao, you can immediately signalize that you did your homework, that you are prepared and most important, that you care. Even if it's not perfectly pronounced, it's a small but impactful gesture. Next, be sure you are smiling in a genuine and inviting way while saying hello. The way we feel during a first encounter has a lot to do with whether the person seems authentic and pleasant. Smiling is a great indicator of these traits and can lighten the mood from the very start. By flashing a big smile, you also display confidence, happiness, friendliness, all the positive feelings we want to project when greeting someone. Now, I understand you might be thinking, what if I also have to wear a face mask and others don't notice my smile? First, a real, true and authentic smile might start at your lips, however also involves your eyes. This type of smile will pull your cheeks up so that the skin around your eyes wrinkles. The, the good kind of wrinkles. <laughs> And second, I will be publishing a video about the challenges of wearing face masks soon and promise to link it here once available. Finally, and most importantly, signal with your hands that you are not ready for a handshake or don't expect one either. For example, by holding them folded or over your heart or using them to wave as a physical greeting, this will gesture to those around you that you are not open to physical touch. So, simply said, skip the handshake for a while. Limit your greetings to a personal hello with a big smile and clear body language. And yes, I know that there are many other alternatives circulating around the internet. However, here are a few of the challenges with those. With a fist bump or an elbow bump, you are still touching the other person. And it's impossible to do that six feet apart. And also keep in mind, people might be sneezing or coughing into their hands or into their elbows. 
With a lifelong and prosperous loot, peace sign or any other hand signal, you might be risking that others either don't know what it means, or it means something completely different in another culture. Blowing kisses or a cute eye wink can be seen as inappropriate or overly casual and rather awkward in a professional setting. Avoiding handshakes does not make you less of a professional or less of a leader. Within your career, you can still step into your leadership potential and continue making impactful first impressions with non-physical greetings. The unspoken truth is that shaking hands is not vital to a first encounter. Do you agree? Let me know by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. Also, if you are ready to crack open some more unspoken truths, sign up below to start receiving 52 free weeks, a year of truth drops. These quick five-minute reads will uncover truths within the professional world and clarify the myths that control the way we interact with one another. Thanks for watching. And be sure to share this video with someone who may be still feeling worried about getting back into the handshaking culture too.